Hi guys, Ange here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would just like to do a brief recap on my experience and my thoughts with my video that I put out earlier on my experience doing the Dr. Libby Weaver diet online course. This was a nine week course and I did it online. A lot of people from all over the world were doing it and I just want to share my experience with that. Before we get into that, if you haven't already guys and you would like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. I'm slowly but surely gaining numbers for every one subscriber I get. YouTube loves to take a couple off me, but I want to beat them and keep growing those subscriber numbers. I've got no idea what happens, but I seem to get one subscriber and then they take a couple off me, citing closed accounts. So I, I seriously don't know what that is about. If anyone can help me out with what they mean by closed accounts, I would love to hear in the comments below what that might be. But it's like I get one subscriber and they take two off me. So, But I am still slowly getting up there. So thank you so much for everybody who has been supporting my channel. Okay guys, so there is actually a new online course coming up very, very shortly through the Dr. Libby website. I will leave a link down below because I can't highly recommend this course enough. Uh, as I said, it was a nine-week course. It went for 63 days. It cost me in New Zealand dollars $299, and it was the best $299 I have spent on my health and well-being ever. And that is including any other diet I've done, which is Weight Watchers, lots of other different things, um, even gym memberships. This was amazing. You got each day printable PDF files as well as a video that could range anything from 10 minutes through to half an hour or approximately half an hour of Dr. Libby giving you the most sound advice. Basically, it is backing up all the books that she has ever published. Now, I have most of her books. I think I have all of them, including the cookbooks. Reading the material was one thing, but like having her in in my face every day, it was like she was talking to me personally. I related to it, it sunk in more, and you could re-watch the um, videos for it to really get in. There were two opportunities in the course to ask her personal questions, and she would pick through, dependent on votes from other people in the course, um, a few of those questions, and she did two audio responses to those. So they were really awesome as well, because they pertained to people doing the course at the time. I learned so much about how my body works and why it frustrates me so much. We are all different. And that is what she really promoted during this course. No diet is a one-size-fits-all. My first two weeks were dreadful because as I cut out, as was recommended, gluten, caffeine, alcohol, dairy, processed foods, anything with preservatives in it, and the whole main goal was to eat real whole foods. I didn't realise that I had such a problem with caffeine because I don't drink coffee, but I do drink black tea. Well, I did drink black tea. And it really was a problem for me because I had the most terrible migraines for about five days once I cut the caffeine out, and it was my body's reaction to detoxing from the caffeine in my body. So that was quite quite huge for me because I, I didn't think I had a caffeine sort of problem. The things for me personally that I picked up through the course was me eating to balance my stress hormones. I am a real high anxiety stress ball. 
so eating to help that stress hormone and eating for your sex hormones that was going to help with my menopause with my monthly cycle uh, was quite huge in learning why certain foods affect you it was the learning why that made sense and has given me the mindset now that I'm staying off those foods for as long as I can. Now I don't do it every day, well I, sorry, I'll take that back, I do do it every day but I cut myself slack if I was to go out for dinner or to go out for an event. Now the thing is I don't have a fantastically busy social life. I am busy with work, I'm busy doing this, I love, I'm busy with my home and family so I don't have a very busy social life. Um, when we do, recently, like I think we'd gone three months with not having anything on, and then we had two weeks with something on nearly every night. So uh, it just goes with the flow. But my my what I'm trying to say is that when I'm going out for those occasions, if I want to have a burger with gluten in the bun, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, I will have it um, and then I'll just go back to the way of eating that I have developed over the last nine weeks. I am trying my best, I've not I notice when I do add something into my diet that I probably shouldn't, my body lets me know for the next two or three days so that is confirmation to me that it was a good thing to cut it out of my diet. The thing is, this is the first diet I've ever gone on where I haven't been hungry. I have not been hungry. There is so much to choose from to eat. Most of the foods that I'm eating actually satiate me more and leave me feeling more full than the rubbish I was eating before. So that was I think the biggest thing for me is that I was eating healthily, I wasn't hungry, I wasn't counting calories, uh, we were told we weren't really supposed to, to weigh ourselves but of course every now and then you're going to do that when you think you are getting looser clothes and you're wanting to know how you're going. Over the 63 days I lost just under 8 kilos which was phenomenal for me. I'm now back to the weight I was when we went to Europe a couple of years ago. That made me happy because the weight I had got to was the weight that I was when I was nine months pregnant with my son. And I didn't want to go further into my years just accumulating more and more weight. So I'm not at my ideal weight, I'm not um, where I want to be, but I am happy that I'm eating more healthily for my health, that I am focusing on just hopefully being kinder to my body. I can, I, one thing, I used to suffer terribly from headaches. I was always taking Panadol, Paracetamol, um, I was always having a headache. I would have at least three or four a week. The first time I have had a headache was just in the last couple of days in about a month and I think it's due to the fact that it's winter now and I'm not drinking my cups of tea and I think I was just getting a little bit slack on hydration and wasn't drinking enough water. So I have upped that again and um, I'm hoping I can keep the headaches at bay and keep all those sorts of things to a minimum. And that was the great thing about cutting a lot of the rubbish out of my diet. It was uh, one of her quotes in the course was that we're really quick to go and take some painkiller. Me, if I'm in pain, I'm a wasp, I'm taking painkillers but I wasn't listening to my body, taking any notice of why did I have a headache. And um, that was quite huge for me because I'm always on the go and it was just easy to take painkillers, take painkillers, take painkillers. And I was actually taking a lot, which isn't good for my liver or my kidneys. And so that's something I want to start taking care of. I'm just going to show you the folder of resources 
that I got through the course. Okay, so this is the amount, and it's all coming out, this is the amount of information that you get through the course to back up each daily um, video that came through. So you just got something every day to learn about your health. And I couldn't recommend the course to anyone more. I got far more out of it than um, it being a diet and I am going to continue as best I can in this new way of eating. I don't want to preach. I am have just changed things and yes the first two weeks were so so tough but as I said the biggest thing is you're doing it for your health, you don't feel hungry and you are eating food that nourishes your body and I am so pleased, I'm annoyed that I had to wait till I was nearly 52 to do something so positive for myself now that I've got my eating under control and hopefully a better balance in that area, I'd like to think I can get to the gym a couple of times a week. I didn't let my gym membership lapse, but I um, haven't been very good with it. It's a time thing, but I need to make more of an effort, even if it is to get on the cross trainer and treadmill for a while. Something that I did want to touch on as well is that in the last week or so I have had my blood taken and so I found out what my blood group was and I purchased the book from Amazon, I got it as a Kindle book, uh, what to eat for your, or eat right for your blood type, I'll leave a wee clip here. And what was really, really interesting is my blood type and what it recommends in that book is exactly what I had discovered on my own doing the Dr. Libby course of what doesn't agree with me. So I found that really, really interesting that the book that I'm reading at the moment just confirms everything that I had discovered about myself. And I'm pleased I did it the other way round because rather than this book I'm reading at the moment, just telling me what I should and shouldn't eat. The Dr. Libby course explained to me why I possibly shouldn't eat them and what it does to my body and how it can affect how my body operates. So learning the whys, the, the what's and all that was really, really important. And reading the second book is just confirmation of everything I have learnt. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you have any questions um, about the course or about Dr. Libby, I will leave a link to her website down below. Um, she On that website you have access to all the books she has published, she does her own organic supplements, she goes all around the world speaking to thousands of women about their health and well-being. And as I said on this course there were women from all over the world participating. Something that I loved probably the most about the course was the forum and there was a forum in lots of different subjects there was general there was stress uh, sex hormones there was your liver there was thyroid so there were forums in each of recipes things like that was reading and um, the community with other people that were having the same struggles and what they were finding what they were sharing and the team at Dr. Libby would come back and uh, answer any of those questions. And it was just really great because it was just even more information that you got from people's everyday experiences. So I will leave links down below. I will leave a link down below for the new course that's coming up. Um, they run them a couple of times a year but this last one that I did apparently was so successful that they're doing another one very very soon so as I said can't recommend it highly enough 
I hope you enjoyed that guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below I didn't want to be preachy but I did want to give a follow-up on my video that I did on me embarking on this and as I said I'm so pleased I did thank you for joining me guys if you enjoyed that please give it a thumbs up as I said earlier if you haven't already please click the subscribe button I would truly appreciate that I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day and a healthy day and I look forward to seeing you next time see you later guys bye